Valiant. So we're talking about the uh, Nitro Piston Elite in this Crosman Valiant. This is a 177 caliber rifle. If you haven't caught the first half or the first video on this series talking about uh, whether or not we need to oil this and what maintenance actually looks like for this air rifle, go ahead and watch that first. Just stop this video, go back and watch that because this won't make any sense and your commentary probably won't be useful. So I uh, basically limited it to a few different pellet types this time so I didn't waste any time. I uh, kind of went with the uh, 10.6 copper and these again have a claim to be more accurate at distance. Uh, something I found to not be true. I think I might make a separate video about that but I'm going to do it at much further distance. Today again I'm shooting the exact same distance, same target size, uh, same magnification, same rifle, uh, same optic although I did have the new optic put on here. Uh, this is the new version of it because the last one broke. Go ahead and watch that video if you didn't catch that. So it's 55 yards and I did notice that this shot exactly the same. So this was uh, oiled properly. You only do one, maybe two drops, really one and a half drops is what I did into that chamber. I let it kind of vent out. I had to diesel a few rounds and then when I felt like the rifle settled down again I went ahead and did the test at 55 yards and so what I'm seeing here is, is really not impressive. Um, looking at two and a half inches for that shot group. That's a 10 shot group. I just jumped right to the 10 because that's what I did last time and I wanted to have the consistency there just to show that it's really not impressive and it certainly didn't get any tighter. It didn't get any worse. I can say that probably. The Crosman Ultra Mig 10.5 heavies really did poorly. Um, this may look like uh, kind of similar to the other ones, but actually I did 10 shots, so it looks far worse. I had such a spread, I had rounds all over the place, and these are the ones that ended up on the paper. I had rounds down over here, rounds up over here. Definitely don't recommend that round. It, it seems to not seat into the lands very good, and uh, you know this is like the best performance you'll ever see any day, and that's like a little over three and a quarter inches, so really not good. Uh, compared to before, it looks like it's the same. I, I don't see any noticeable improvement or difference. The Gamo Hunter is probably the only one I see what looks like improvement, but uh, looking at this, you know, right about a little under two inches. So I think that might be the same. Uh, probably not much better if it is better. So, uh, you know, again, not too noticeable. I went to kind of my go-to pellet, the one that usually performs the best, especially for five-shot groups. And if I take out that flyer, I'm looking at two inches. So I'm gonna say it doesn't perform better uh, in my, my testing, my analysis. I don't think that this is conclusive. I would definitely do a test like this again at maybe 100 yards and mess around with that. It's just a matter of finding 100 yards inside with no variables or taking away as many variables as you can rather. That's really hard to do. So 55 is what I've got. I don't see a noticeable improvement after oiling that, but I will continue to oil it, and here's why. Uh, it's in the owner's manual, it recommends to do it. I believe it'll probably add longevity to the life of this system, and it, that's kind of what it's all about to me. I guess the accuracy part, I was hoping that could be true. I don't see any claim there whatsoever that uh, is validated. I didn't see any increase in accuracy. It wasn't noticeable. I thought I did right off the bat, uh, off camera, but I think I was just shooting better, and so then uh, after you know, 50 rounds or so, then it starts opening back up, especially with these 10 round groups. These are pretty atrocious. I'm used to shooting five round groups that are about, you know, this is one, two, three, four, and then usually a fifth one in here somewhere. And what I got was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, pretty badly spread out. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I don't think there's any validation to the claim that oiling the Nitro Piston Elite, which is in the owner's manual to do with a special oil, I don't think it, it really does add or contribute to your accuracy. I also don't think it takes away after the dieseling is over. And so, you know, should you do it? Probably, it's in the owner's manual. They know stuff that we don't. They've probably done a lot more testing than we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and say do it, but it's more about the functionality of this piston, this contained system, and longevity of the rifle rather than accuracy or precision. So that's my two bits. Thanks guys. Hope you appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe.